thank you so much uh, for joining us today. I, I think this will be a very uh, uh, enriching day of exchange of our learning and what others have learned uh, in the region. I'd like to thank uh, Her Excellency, uh, uh, the Ambassador of Croatia, uh, who I know is with us, <laughs> uh, Maria Kavanovic. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Arsene Konoli, advisor to the Minister of, of Culture, Youth and Sports. Thank you for joining us as well. Um, a, a, a particular uh, thanks and welcome to Libor. Uh, glad from the EU office and the, the office of the EU Special Representative uh, for being with us today, but also for the great partnership and, and trust and confidence that this uh, somewhat uh, crazy project of trying to do many things in less than a year uh, on cultural heritage, itself cultural heritage. And it's a great reminder that cultural heritage is by its very nature diverse. Uh, and that's what makes it so so wonderful and so so worthwhile. If it was all the same, then it would be very boring and it wouldn't be worth preserving. But the richness and the diversity of cultural heritage uh, is what makes it worth uh, protecting. All around the world, you know, we've seen how cultural heritage has been used as a tool for 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 division for. Um, you know, really, I guess, you know, striking at the heart of what we hold dear and sacred as humanity. And, but it also, at the same time, it's, it, it, it is an enormously powerful way of bringing people together. And this is what this first uh, pilot is, is about. This is what we were uh, endeavoring to do. And, uh, and again, it's, it's really a testament to the, to, to the willingness of all of the different stakeholders involved to take a chance. The conference is organized by the confidence building through cultural protection in Kosovo project, generously funded by the European Union office in Kosovo. Thank you very much for the floor. Dear Madam Ambassador, the representatives of Kosovo institutions, international organizations, the implementing partners, Andrew. It's a great honor for me indeed to be here today on behalf of the European Union office in Kosovo and to see so many of you taking part in one of the achievements of what we have done together with, with UNDP. It will be no surprise that the European Union has been strongly committed to the protection of cultural heritage and over the years we have made some significant contributions to the restoration of religious and cultural heritage in Kosovo. We have been doing this both by supporting political commitments of Kosovo in this field are met, but also by spending money from the financial pre-accession assistance. Kosovo has made big steps forward to ensure that the effective preservation of its diverse cultural heritage is ensured most recently by adopting the 10-year National Cultural Heritage Strategy. However, significant challenges remain. Let me mention the example of Prizren and the ongoing program, a problem of degradation of cultural heritage, which is, of course, a serious concern for all of us. Traces of traditional architecture are being eradicated due to the lack of stringent enforcement of legislation. Business interests frequently override cultural heritage interests and the character of prisoners' historical center is rapidly eroding away. Concrete action is needed to counter this trend in order to save Kosovo's valuable heritage in prison and elsewhere. Kosovo's diverse cultural heritage includes sites created by all peoples who have lived here throughout the centuries. Through projects such as this one, cultural and religious heritage has become a means of promoting dialogue and build, building confidence between Kosovo's diverse communities. We have jointly improved the physical condition of heritage sites and contributed to increase public awareness about the need to respect all heritage. I can reassure you on, on behalf of the EU in Kosovo that we will continue to support Kosovo in meeting the challenges I have outlined and also to celebrate its successes like the one today. On behalf of Minister, let me please thank you all and thank the EU office and their representatives and also the UNDP and their representatives 
for the great work they do in Kosovo in general and cultural heritage in particular. It is absolutely necessary and urgent for cultural heritage to be treated professionally by professionals and keep the politicians as far away as possible. The Ministry of Culture is doing the best they can to ensure that cultural heritage is protected, safeguarded and promoted without prejudice. Our institutions are constantly evolving and improving. But we accept that we need to strengthen our institutions and strengthen their capacities. We need to conserve and protect our shared European cultural ethos, that very EU motto on varietate concordia, which you know means united in diversity. Cultural heritage of Kosovo must follow this motto. It is a heritage of all. It is diverse, but it is united in values it resonates, values of humanity and peace, values of all Kosovo citizens. We cannot speak about the bar borders when we speak about cultural heritage. And uh, the main challenge after the conflict is how to rebuild, restore this heritage, and how to, because through this process of restoring the uh, cultural heritage, in a way you restore also the confidence building between the communities. That's why this is important. What is uh, this cultural, uh, I would say, diversity in this region, in this area, actually has to be perceived as a great advantage. It uh, helps also uh, to restore this um, uh, confidence uh, between the minority communities and between the state. And this is also very important. So the title of this first panel is Confidence Building through cultural heritage promotion. I don't know whether you have any information about Cyprus. I mean, it's one of the oldest ongoing political problem on the world. I mean, starting from 60s, they have United Nations peacekeeping force there. And from 60s on, they have this problem of protection of the cultural heritage still ongoing. Transitional arrangements are needed for the protection of the cultural heritage, and upon this need, Lodidias in 2008 decided to establish our committee. The Technical Committee on Cultural Heritage has been given the mandate to protect all cultural heritage throughout the islands, highlighting, highlighting what is important and valued by both communities. The how is that uh, we take all decisions on a common agreed basis, this is very fundamental, and uh, there's, no, there's no backstabbing, there's no kind of double dealing. We have the same vision of what heritage is on Cyprus and what we expect heritage to do for the future of our country. And it's one heritage, it's one common, of course, with diverse elements, but um, um, in terms of meaning, in terms of substance, and what it means to us, it's the same heritage. In our model, it's an eight-point model. And let me very briefly reflect on that. Uh, we, we have a common vision. We have a common vision for cultural heritage in Cyprus. We, are, we have this uh, well-developed volunteer ethos. It is an ethos. It's a culture. We, have a, um, uh, we are committed people uh, who are not really looking at our watches, what time to go home. We, are really, we roll our sleeves up and we do get on with, with the work. We have considerable technical support from UNDP PFF, and I cannot really not mention the support of Tiziana Zenaro. Thank you very much, Tiziana, openly and publicly. Uh, implementation mechanism, we get a lot of support from the European Union, not just money. Money, of course, is very important, but also encouragement, acceptability, legitimacy from the EU. Um, resources, again, the same thing, it's a very important issue. Resources, of course, it's a two, 
it's a two-sided issue. We get the resources, but why do we get the resources? We deserve the resources we, because we have demonstrated the capacity to make good use of those resources. And of course, resources are very scarce. They have endless other uses, hospitals, schools, roads, poverty reduction, and all that, gender issues. But we manage to justify that the use we make of them uh, is worth, uh, worthwhile of the European Union and its own mandate. Social acceptability. We have built up ourselves. At the beginning, we had a few enemies. What are you doing messing around in churches and mosques? Um, you know, you are uh, justifying uh, each other's agenda. We have convinced them that it's good for Cyprus, and it's, uh, now uh, we get more support. Certainly, we have enormous political, implicit political support from the leaders. They trust us because we have demonstrated, we have delivered results. Partnerships, very important, and it takes a lot of time. Partnerships with uh, local society, as Ali mentioned, uh, universities, uh, religious groups, um, schools, civil society. I think we have um, spread ourselves out. We have uh, increased our outreach to um, society. Of course, we have our limitations, which we try to confront and uh, creatively um, uh, address. And finally, finally, the, the future. In the future, we have now a further list of 80 six, 80, 80 monuments, which we have on our, uh, uh, the back of, of our minds, are waiting for further resources to be able to move them on. And more recently, and I'm particularly proud of this, we are now beginning to look uh, longer term to see what will happen to the, what, is, what the responsibilities are for maintaining and managing all these monuments or 10, 15, 30, uh, 40, what will happen in terms of management, in terms of maintenance? And uh, we're looking into the sustainability of our activities, which uh, is a bit uh, a dialogue, a debate engaging resources, finances, uh, entrance charges, governance issues. But we are above politics and we are above North and South, so we can talk openly about uh, authorities c collecting revenues, uh, imposing maybe some levies. So this is our role to be above politics and to make heritage a, a, an all Cyprus um, focus for joint activity. Objektivat të cilat i kemi janë inventarizimi vlerave të trashëguse, grumbullimi i eksponatëve, barbojtja e muzeot të qytetit, si që një të njëftuar në primet medial, me 28 nëntorë të 2006 metës, Gjilani e ka dhe muzeoni e komunës e Gjilani. Përgaditja dokumentacione për shpalje, objektiva dhe me vlerat të veçanta, monumentet e kulturës dhe status të mbrojtura nga shteti. Do të seket se Gjilani është qytet multetnik. Me qëllim të ruajt e sëkëtyre e marlenjeve të mira në dëretnike, komuna Gjilani ka rritur që aktivitetet me përfasu se komunitetet vetara të zhvilloj dhe forsoj marrëdhenit ndër etnike si rezultat i kësaj në vitin 2015 në esi komunë e Gjilonit kemi formu këshilin e bajsive vetara me krerët e institucionet vetara duke përshi, bajsin islame, ortodokse, katolike dhe protestante në muajnë të torë 2015 kemi pas muajnë e tolerancës i shpallu nga kryetari Haziri. Gjati muaj, bashk të gjitha fet të cilat janë në komunën tonë, kemi arrit të bëjmë një punë të mirë, kemi pas ekspozita të ndryshme, ku kanë me orë pjesë të rrit nga gjitha komunitetet. Të gjitha këto përpjekje të institucionet komunale kam për qëllim dërtimin e besu shmërisë, fuqizimit të besimit në dërmjet komuniteteve. Kështu që në vitin 2016, me financim të BES, jemi përgjallë si komun, mirë po, me implementim të projektit edhe nga undipia për konzervimin e varrezërët të qytetit. Projekt jetër i financuar nga BES dhe implementuar nga undipia është renovimi i kishës ortodokse në qendrë të qytetit i cili veç punë të kam përfundu këtë ditë. 
Qëllimi i këtyre projekteve synon të rrisë ndërgjeqësimin e qytetarëve në lidhe me diversitetin kulturor dhe fetar. Si dhe mbrojtjen e trashegjumis kulturore të përbashkët të komunës son multietnike, si që është Gjilani. Andaj në vazhden e këtyre përpjekjeve, ne u jemi thëllë cështë mjë njësë, jo vetëm donatorve pra bëjes në këtë rast, por edhe u ndipis, dhe ministris, por edhe akterëve tjera elevante komunën tonë, që për një moment nuk kanë hezituar të qojnë për para këtë agent të përbashkët të ruajtjes se trashegjimi sonë të përbashkët kulturore e ndërfetare. Ne si Gjilanas e qmojmë këtë diversitet që kemi, sepse besojmë, po që shumë që armja jonë, mund të jetë e sigurët, vetëm kur ne mësojmë nga kaluara dhe e blersojmë atë objektivisht. Falendirën të veçantë, kam edhe për ekipin e undipisë, që direkt është marë, për tuaj se me bazë, për shdo ditë, në bazë aditore për mbërvajtje në këtyne projekteve në komunën në Gjilanit. Pra, edhe kjoj angazhimi unë i përbashkët të regonë se për të ndërë, diverzitetit të onë profesional, etnik, fetarë, ekipet e sukseshme janë nga ato që ndajnë shëllimit dhe që i bashkojnë angazhimet tona. Ne do të mundohme në Gjilan, jemë duke kërkuar bashkone me gjithë organizatat finansuse, që ka neve presëm në ndalin në ndim, sepse realisht në avy një përkaje e madhe, si do mos të varrezat të qytetit, sepse kemi një pjesë të degraduar, In Cyprus, it was, uh, you know, the primary, but not the, you know, the only supporter, but the primary supporter has been the European Union. And what's been so great about it is the fact that they have sustained their support so that, so that you can see, you can see, and I know because I was there around a decade ago, you can see that through this sustained partnership, you can really move forward, in a, even in a complex, difficult place uh, like Cyprus. For this session, we will hone in um, and look at um, some examples of best practices of how uh, preservation um, and promotion of cultural heritage can contribute to um, sustainable communities and more peaceful societies, um, more specifically to, to goal uh, 11 and 16 of the Sustainable Development Goals. What did trigger this uh, approach? Uh, one of the major things was that uh, there was no proper dialogue between central institution and local institution about uh, cultural heritage, about setting the goals and priorities right in contribution to the local development and local community. Uh, in addition to that, there was no dialogue between local institution and civil society re representatives. Uh, the other issue is that uh, cultural heritage is seen as a central level competence. So basically local level did neglect it at all and didn't thought about it at all. Uh, the other, the third point is that, uh, and it kind of resulted that uh, cultural heritage was not a priority in local policies and also in local planning. So therefore there was no budget at all in local levels for uh, cultural heritage. Uh, from the community side, uh, cultural heritage was also seen as a institutional responsibility, and therefore they didn't bother at all to be involved in decision making. So, uh, based on this context and these issues that we have seen working with cultural heritage from 2001 in Kosovo, uh, we tried to with the local heritage plans to create a new approach for protection and promotion of cultural and natural heritage. Also, we have tried to identify uh, cultural and nat natural heritage uh, uh, assets that have potentials for uh, social and economic development. Uh, we, in the same time, we wanted to create a sort of strategic plan that would be address that would address immediate needs 
but also providing a long-term vision about the uh, protection and promotion of cultural and natural heritage. That it's originally a Swedish foundation, has been engaging in the Balkans now for 20 years, primarily in Bosnia and Herzegovina, with uh, restoring cultural heritage as a mean to, to get communities to talk together, where the conservation as such was actually used as a process that would then serve the dialogue, would serve the meeting, would serve the exchange of views and opinions. Throughout those 20 years of work, or at that time when we started this program, it was around 10 years of work, we realized that um, we all, I mean, not only in Bosnia, where we worked primarily, and then in Kosovo, and then in region, we realized the problems and the challenge, challenges we all face are rather similar. But what was really the most appealing, or what, what was actually the most frightening at that time, was that young people were very often, they were either confused, or they were nationalistic, or they just didn't have an opinion. So in that respect, we felt, okay, but what if we try to use this process of conservation in a smaller scale and bring all these professionals together in a place where we could actually engage in a physical work of conservation, learn about traditional materials and learn about the application of traditional techniques, and at the same time engage in a dialogue. So this is the backbone of the regional restoration camp. So for that, yes, so this is, yeah, our poor images, but this is a little bit in action on how it seems. So it's about mutual work among the young professionals and craftspersons, and as well the community. We were lucky enough to run long enough to be awarded with the European Union Award in Cultural Heritage, Europa Nostra Award in 2014. <laughs> pre svega kancelarije Europske unije na na sredstvima koje je izdvojila za projekat koji smo sprovodili zajedno sa organizacijom UNDP i Kosovska policija je veoma aktivno učestvovala u ovom projektu i ovom prilikom ja bih želeo da vam ukažem na na određene aktivnosti koje smo tom prilikom sprovodili. Ono što je Veoma važno za, za Kosku policiju je da a, razvija zajedničke aktivnosti sa svim ostalim organizacijama koje funkcionišu na Kosovu, pre svega sa a, vladinim institucijama, sa međunarodnim institucijama, a sve u cilju zaštite i obezbeđenja objekata kulturno-verskog nasledđa na Kosovu koji pripadaju različitim zajednicama i sa ciljem stvaranja sigurnog i bezbednog okruženja za sve građane, oni koji žive na Kosovo, a takođe i svi oni koji posećuju Kosovo i pre svega posećuju objekte kulturno-verskog nasledđa. I takođe Kosovska policija je aktivno radila i radit će u buduće na razvijanju saradnje sa svim verskim zajednicama. Kosovska policija u, u a, saradnji sa ostalim organizacijnim jedinicama a, radi na tome da razvije a, sve kapacitete i da budemo spremni da možemo reagovati u različitim a, situacijama, znači prevashodno da budemo spremni i da preventivno reagujemo kako bismo sprečili sve ilegalne aktivnosti. A, u sklopu a, policije Kosova postoji jedinica kojom ja rukovodim i Nilgin je već govorilo o tome, koja se bavi a, fizičkim obezbeđenjem objekata kulturno-verskog nasledđa. Na ovoj slici možete vidjeti jedan objekat koji se nalazi u opštini Urošavac Ferizaj, koji se obezbeđuje od strane a, naše jedinice. Znači, jedinica prevashodno se bavi zaštitom objekata kulturno-verskog nasledđa koji pripadaju Srpskoj pravoslavnoj crkvi i ovi objekti se obezbeđuju 24 časa 7 dana u nedelji. Objekti koji pripadaju ostalim verskim zajednicama takođe vodi se računa i o njihovoj bezbednosti na drugačiji način u koordinaciji sa ostalim organizacijnim jedinicama policije Kosova oni se obezbeđuju. Kada govorimo o sastavu jedinice, oko 30% policijskih službenika dolazi iz manjinskih zajednica, oko 17% su policijski službenici koji dolaze iz zajednice kosovskih Srba 
aktivna koordinacija sa ostalim organizacijama, sa Ministarstvom kulture, omladine i sporta je veoma izražena i svakodnevno razgovaramo o svim onim aktivnostima koje mogu da se razvijaju kako bi se na kvalitetan način ove objekti obezbijedili, kako bi smo radili na promociji zaštite kulturno verskog nasledđa i kako bi smo i uvek smo spremni da sve sugestije, sve primetbe sa različitih nivoa prihvatimo kako bi smo svoje aktivnosti još više razvijali. S tim u vezi strategija policije u zajednici, kolega mentor kasnije može dodati još podataka, koja je predstavljena ove godine i bit će aktivna do 2021. obuhvata objektive koji se direktno odnose na zaštitu kulturno-verskog nasledđa i u ovom periodu policiju zajednici, naša jedinica i sve ostale organizacijone jedinice policije Kosova aktivno će raditi na zaštiti i promociji kulturno-verskog nasledđa. Potvoj se če nje dekod tašma, policija Kosovas është në mënyrë aktive duke i zbatuar konceptin e policimit në bashkësi, si një model demokratik i policimit, të cilin janë duke e shfitzuar apo duke e zbatuar shtetet të ndryshme të bashkimit e vëropian dhe më gjerë. Me fjallë tjera, community policing është në anglisht, mirë po ne jemi mundu me përshtat në Gjurën Shqipe, ku këtë term përdojrë të kryesisht në bashkëpunimin me qytetar dhe koordinimin e aktiviteteve policijës qytetar, me qëllim të identifikimit të dukurive të ndryshme negative dhe krimeve të lojeve të ndryshme, që potencialisht mundën me ndodhë bashkësi, edhe bashkarisht me policinë, me u mundu me i parandalu apo me evitu pasojen e cila ndo njerë mundet me qenë fatale për vetë qytetarë. Innovative approaches to engaging young people in shared responsibility for cultural heritage protection. Cultural heritage has multiple interpretations and its meaning is very rich. We all here, we should not politicize cultural heritage. Everybody agrees to that and everybody goes on their separate ways of politicizing it from their own perspective. So that is because cultural heritage like any cultural creation, uh, has multiple identities. It belongs to the world, we all agree, that uh, uh, good uh, examples of works of art belong to the world, okay? But not everybody in the world consumes the same object the same way. Kime mbledhur, do thot kjo është faza e par, epigrafeve, ose apo mbishkrimeve që gjinden bi gjamin, bi tëqem, bi objekte, të kurtit dhe objekte tjera si janë uret qeshmet, i kime dëshifruar ato në gjutë vendore, i kime dëshifruar spaku nga Osmanishtia, spare nga Osmanishtia, në Turshishtën e re, janë për këtyrë në gjunë Shqipe, në gjunë Turke, në gjunë Boshnjakën dhe në gjunë Anglezi. Edhe kime botuar një këtë liber ku janë të botuar, do thot, dikun njëshen përmbajtja njëshen bishkrimeve gjitha ndaj vendeve të Kosovës, edhe janë kogja të nduar nduarshme nga epigrafet e gjamive, të urave, të teqeve, të qeshmeve dhe kështu me radhe. I use three modern concepts. I think that in order to engage the youth in finding innovative ways in protection and promotion of cultural heritage is that we start early dialogue as a first concept, active engagement, the second, and ownership, so the third concept, giving ownership to the youth that we had with UNDP, the recent project that we had, uh, re renovation of the church, renovation of mosque, cemetery, uh, Isla Islamic and Orthodox cemeteries. What we did is, I really like this approach and I would like to share this approach with you, uh, applied by the UNDP and by us too. What we did in selection, the cultural heritage objects that we wanted to invest, we did not go to, to religious representatives just like that and tell them that we want to invest in this object or in that, but we called them 
at the very early stage, and we discussed and we identified the needs together. Some creative, some young minds, some, some wonderful people who, who can not only protect, if through, through different projects if we can engage them and give them ownership, they not only can protect, of course, if they see as their own value, they of course will protect, but they will promote because they are the best people who can use social media, who can come up with different projects, who can approach different uh, grant schemes and donors, etc. I can add this up to the screwara history, which in the past has been a touch and a touch vieta. Ne ferizai ka filu kan filuar disa por pie kje që të gjinen të verifikuan edhe njerëzit por edhe mundësia e e ngritjes apo renovimit të atyre pak objekteve që kishin metën pas e, një kohë shumë të vështirë historike qysh i din. Pas emrimit të, i peshgvit nga Slovenia Ivan Gnidovec që ka qenë përgjegjës për shkupin dhe Kosovën, për katolikt, a i të i pas për asyjnë si një vend strategjik dhe kërkoj që në vitin 1926 të ngritët një shpi pak ma modhe, ku si vend strategjik atër do të bashkoshin katolikt e pak që kishin met në këto vise prej shkupit deri në pej Gjakove Prizren. Ne dim se Prizren dhe disa vendit tjera kanë historin nga shekulli 3 dhe 4, Objekte dëshmojnë një lashësi shumë të mandhë dhe kuptohet se ato objekte në përdorën. Në këtë drejtim, fanderi zotë që ato edhe sot e kësë dite kanë metë spaku dijet janë fakte arkeologike që këto objekte kanë shërby si objekte fëtare dhe sot është bërë rinovimi i konë katedralës në Prizren, dhe mundë që ka një lashësi jashë zakonisht mandhë dhe kjo ka ju ndipia në Ferizaj që ishte seli e përdorën tre i pëshgveve, dhe ma thonë, në gënitu vecit, më pas ka ardhë Nik Prela, deri të Mark Sopit që kanë vepru në këtë vend. Dhe, për ne është të rëndësishme se është lidhët me diso personalitete. Përveç të në tre i pëshgveve, dhe ma thonë, njërëzët parë që ju kanë pri katolikve në këtë troje, lidhët, dhe ma thonë, në prezenca në nësë të resët dhe familje saj, qoft prej kur ka nërë prej prezrenit, apo dhe prej shkupit. Ka shërbyr, dhe më thonë, që të vazhduat harmonia, mirë kuptimi, dhe në nënë tjetër, që dasit mos tjenë burim, apo shkak, indareve, apo i largimeve, por tjenë ato si një nëzitje për pasorim të ndërsjelt. We can perceive people as an obstacles because they do not fit in in our mindset or we can perceive other people as a treasury of a spirit which is constantly enriching us. And I strongly believe, and I'm trying not to be hypocritical in this, that after meetings with the people of a different faith, I always feel enriched in a beautiful way which I did not expect. Maybe sometimes it is even more important these fine moments that we are living together than the building that we were making. But I strongly believe that these buildings that we were uh, uh, renovating uh, in this project are a visible symbol of our um, aim and the efforts to, to achieve uh, unity. <laughs> Plëcimi i kornizës ligjore dhe harmonizimi legislacionit me legislacionin e bëjes, në këtë kuadrë do të është përfundu strategjia. The agreement on the establishment of the advisory board for the preservation, physical protection and restoration of the immovable cultural heritage recognize a special role to UNDP in Cyprus as a politically uh, um, accepted implementation body by both communities. So that's why we uh, are partners with the committee. Then, thanks to European Union funds, in 2010 we, uh, we have been uh, entrusted to carry out a cultural heritage study 
on both sides of the island and to prepare an inventory because did not exist an inventory, comprehensive inventory. And we had also the opportunity to carry out a technical assessment on selected sites according to a ranking uh, um, uh, strategy. So since then, the, um, our partner, the European Union, uh, started to uh, found annually um, pilot project action initiative to support the work of the technical committee. And uh, from phase one, we reach phase five. Uh, so from the initial allocation of two million, we reach today 11.75 million from the European Union. And thanks to, and you heard also from uh, Glasgow and Ali, thanks also to the Church of Cyprus and EFCA Foundation, we succeed to receive local funding. And now there are several emerging donors, even with small funding, that they are supporting the work of the committees. Initially, we were involving the community towards the end of the project, but then we have realized that it was uh, too late. So we now, we involve them at the beginning, at the design stage, and we explain them the, um, the works uh, in, uh, that we will carry out. We bring them also during the implementation of the works, so they can see with their eyes what is going on. And at the end, when there will be the completion ceremony. So in this way, we have created ownership with the, the, the local communities. We had a different, different discussions, and I, I think that more or less we touched everything that relates to cultural heritage, because as we see, cultural heritage is a, a very complex uh, field. It's not only physical intervention, but physical intervention is also very important. It's about uh, engaging people. It's the human dimension is about reconciliation. So it's quite complex. And I think that each panel, uh, each of the panelists uh, contributed uh, from their point of view uh, in this uh, uh, conference. What I take as a, as a key uh, like a message uh, from, from this conference is that we have started, let's say, with all these people, with religious representatives, all re religious representatives, with young people and professionals being in one, in this one room, it's already a, a first very important step. So I take this as a beginning of a longer journey. <laughs>